So good morning. Um, it's Friday the 9th of September and I have been doing a bit of meditating recently and listening to some audiobooks and some of them are really really good and sometimes um, I think oh wow I'd love to like share some of this really great stuff um, and over the past week uh, people have been asking me quite um, poignant questions like I'd be talking about my childhood and they'd say well what was the turning point for you because obviously look at you now and people really say oh you've stopped the cycle you've done really well um, and it made me sort of think because people are um, starting to ask me how I've done it why I've done it and ask for my insights on things to help them and I thought well why don't I start doing a couple of videos and blogs and things and things that might be able to help um, because I have had to self-help myself by researching and listening to videos or listening to audiobooks in order to make my well-being better. Um, so it's been pretty well documented in interviews and uh, things in the past about my depression, um, about my trauma in my childhood, um, uh, about the mental health situations that I've had to deal with and things like that so I don't really want to go back over that because it is well documented but what I want to do today is to give some hope and some ideas to people that may be depressed or down at the moment because I know there's quite a few of my friends who are feeling a bit low and um, I like to lift people up so hopefully you can listen to this and think oh god that's really helped today um, thank you and the the thing that I was listening to today was about um, vibrations and water. Um, so I've got my two glasses of water here to show you, to visualise what happened. And it was a Japanese researcher called uh, Masaru Umoto, and you can Google him. And he had a New York uh, Times best-selling book, and people have written about him, and you know he's a researcher. And he had a speaker and he played uh, a certain thing to one glass of water and he played a certain thing to another glass of water. And to the one glass of water in a controlled environment, this wasn't, you know, a silly experiment by one means. On the one glass of water, he played, you make me sick, you make me sick, you make me sick to that glass of water. And to the other glass of water, was kind words and prayers sometimes by Buddhist monks and um, I love you, thank you, you're welcome and things like that to the other glass. And the two glasses of water behaved very differently and you might think how does water behave strangely? Um, because of the vibrations that come from my voice and it's not very well explained but what happens is if I say, you make me sick, it's quite an aggressive tone of voice. You is quite a sharp tone of voice. Make me sick. It's, a, it's quite a horrible thing to say. And the other glass, I love you. You're welcome. Thank you. The tone changes the actual structure of the water. Now, I really love all of this stuff. I've been fascinated it by it for years. Um, so much so that I do drawings of geometrical patterns and things like that and there's a few of them on my Instagram. I, I'm going to try and do some more and sell them in the future um, but I haven't had time because the kids have been at home but they've gone to school now hence why I'm sitting here on a Friday morning with the house so peaceful and quiet. And my depression has defined me whether I like it or not possibly in a good way now because I can help other people. When you're depressed it consumes your whole state of mind. People go, oh snap out of it or take a pill and you'll feel better. Um, and you know it's, it, it gets so bad sometimes that you just want to die. Um, and in my case I have tried to kill myself in the past when I was younger many years ago. And people don't quite understand that. They're like, oh, you're so selfish, you know. Think of all the people you leave behind. But that's not what you're thinking about at the time. All you want to think about is how to stop the pain, um, how to stop feeling 
so anxious or poorly or how to stop being angry or how to stop crying and it, in my case I couldn't sleep I just wanted to sleep um, I had terrible insomnia from the way that my brain was overreacting to uh, negative situations in my life trauma depression spirals into quite negative things so what this water situation I want you to think about is if you surround yourself with people that say kind nice things I love you uh, you are great, uh, you are happy, uh, you will be a successful, kind person, you are a successful, kind person, affirmational um, things. Um, it changes the molecular structure of the water um, into quite pretty patterns. Um, when you say negative, horrible things all the time, the molecular structure changes into quite a you know, strange pattern sometimes and looks a bit weird. In some cases, the water will end up changing to go green and mouldy and encourage bacteria to grow. So if you think about our bodies as 70% water, again, this is a fact, you know, um, with horses as well, you know, majority of their body is water. Their bodies are vibrating, these molecular structures are vibrating around each other and they crash into each other or they just float around each other um, with the energy flow that is going around and this happens in your life so you need to surround yourself with kind nice people in order to try and revitalize yourself and be happy and feel kind and feel happy to project it um, and yes I'm not saying cut out negative people in your life but you need to be strong enough to not let those negative people drain you what we call uh, energy vampires to a certain extent if you are a strong person and you can protect yourself in a bubble to not let that energy be drained from you, then you can help those people. But you might need to protect yourself first, get yourself strong so that you can then help others. And I feel like I'm at that point in my life where I found that bubble to protect myself from negative energy so that I can now just project uh, positive happy energy out and it doesn't mean I don't get angry it just means that I've learned to deal with my anger in a certain way that I wouldn't have been able to do 10 years ago and it's somebody asked me the other day like what was the turning point for you how did it change and it hasn't happened overnight you know I'm 41 years old it's taken a long time and so you have to be realistic that things take time to change um, and then I sat there and I thought, well, yeah, actually one thing did help me when I was younger, after I'd come out of a mental health hospital. I was, um, yeah, when my psychiatrist said to me that I would have been better off if my mum and dad had died in a car crash, that gave me a great sense of relief and happiness that somebody understood um, all the trauma that I'd gone through in my life. Um, and that was a turning point for me, that somebody understood how much pain I'd had because... All I wanted was a mum and dad that loved me, and I never had that. But now I am a mum that loves my children, and um, I can give all of my love and my happiness and my kindness and my energy to my children, which is wonderful, and mould them into kind, happy, loving uh, children. Um, not what I was, which was an aggressive, uh, out-of-control, um, toxic human uh, when I was younger. But things change and we grow older and wiser and I'm hoping that the water analogy will help you realise that you need to change how you speak, how you talk, how you react to situations in order to change your life and that will help. So I've read a lot of books and if you like what I'm saying, give it a like, drop a comment and I'll do more of these if you feel like they genuinely are going to help you. And I will talk about more situations and scenarios or information that I've found that will help hopefully change your life and help benefit other people's. So I think, you know, I've helped myself by reading, by listening, by taking things on board. I went into a shop this morning and the lady was quite angry, she was quite distressed and I tried to tell her about the water analogy that if you you know just chilled out and things said nice things things were, nice things will happen and this Japanese uh, researcher Masaru Emoto and she interrupted me and I said it about the glasses of water have you heard about that she said what one's half full and one's half empty and I was like 
she'd interrupted me and I was like, no, no, not that. And then she tried to say something else. I was like, no, no. And I couldn't explain the situation. And that was this morning. And sometimes when people are trying to help you, you're going to block people trying to help you by not sitting and listening or letting people finish what they have to say. And I used to do that a lot. So take time to listen to what people have to say, think about it. And if you hear it three times, take note. If somebody tells you to read a book three times, think, oh, there's a message there. Somebody's giving me a message, I need to read that book. Or somebody says, listen to that piece of music three times. Go and listen to that piece of music. Listen to what the universe effectively is trying to say to you. And uh, hopefully your life will become a bit more peaceful and happy. So have a good weekend. I'm in Northampton tomorrow night. So if anyone wants to pop down, it's quite early that I'm playing. So, you know, if you want to pop down and then we can, if you want to have a chat to me afterwards and you're in Northampton, that'd be great. Um, I'm all for talking and seeing people. And if you want, drop a like and a comment and that'd be great. And have a good weekend. Drink lots of water. Okay.